Hello, and thank you so much for joining me today. 49 Dragonflies on YouTube had a challenge kind of swap where you swap with another partner and you get five um, items to use on your journal page and then you make a collage of it. And so um, I swapped with two ladies actually so I'm going to be doing two different pages and I think I'll do two videos more than likely so I have not actually started my junk journal this is a I want this is something I've wanted to do for a while is start one so I'm going to just use these pages to start it and then I'm just slowly going to build it I need to tea dye some papers I want to tea dye them I want to coffee dye some papers and then I do, want to do some other um dyeing of them with different things so I, but I did want to get this page done since I've already received my package of the five items. And so I'm going to um, show those to you and we're going to get, get started on that page. So this one, and I, I love all the items I received. It came with a little doily and I've already opened it and looked because I, I couldn't wait. I just could not wait to see what I received. And so um, I opened it's a little doily. And then a little button there, and a little girl, a tag, a butterfly, and some, um, not ribbon, what am I trying to say? It's crocheted um, lace, kind of like lace, but it's crocheted. And then a, this little piece of decorative paper, and here's some, another piece, and then the music book. And that's something I want to find is some old music books. I have a lot of old books, but I don't have an old song book or music book. So that's one thing I'm going to be looking for when I go, um, go looking at, uh, looking for used books. And so here's the letter. I see I'm going to set that aside. Okay. So for today's page, I'm going to take this little sheet of paper and I'm going to, um, first off, I'm going to ink it to make it have a little bit more design on it and age this paper real quick. Since I didn't have time to tea dye any, I'm just going to see what I can do with this. Just adding a little bit of color and design in the background. And just add some here. Just not going to make a solid I'm not going to fill the whole stencil in, just parts of the stencil, just to add a little bit on this page. And this was a really big stencil with a lot of design on it. So I thought it would work for what I'm going for. So how is the weather where you're at? It's getting really cold here. We're having more cold days than warm days lately and um which we did have a few warm days this week but it's cold i think again today and it's um very rainy we've had two rainy days so today is perfect for just crafting and not going anywhere or doing anything okay that's looking like what i wanted i'm gonna add just a little bit on this end and then i'm going to age around the edges to give it yes and I'm going to age around the edges some to just make it look a little used and old and worn so I'm just going to go around here Okay, so I like that. Mm, I may have added too much there, but hey, oops, there was some orange on that. Let's just make the rest look a little bit more aged. Okay, now my fingers are all covered in ink. So let me uh, get a paper towel. I'll be right back. Hopefully I got enough of the ink off that I won't leave fingerprints all over the page. 
I am definitely a messy crafter. I'm always making messes. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So she stapled this. I think that's cute. I mean, just let me just start laying it out and just getting an idea. I hadn't even tried to lay anything out to see what I was going to do yet. I'm going to just, just kind of play around and see. And I may actually use this on two pages since it's so many things. Let me see here. Just going to. I just like to lay everything out and kind of get an idea of what I've got here. And what if I use this to spread across both pages? Then I just put that in here. pocket and then just slide this in. So let me see here. I hope she's okay with me cutting this dolly. Let me find my scissors. I'm going to cut this dolly in half. I'm going to use part of it. Give it a rough edge, so I'm just going to tear a little bit here. I'm, I'm, I like rougher edges, torn edges, rather than straight edges when it comes to certain things that I do, especially when I'm doing mixed media or different projects. So I'm going to take put that there and then lay this here. Put this little girl there. I think I'm gonna take this ribbon. If I make a pocket on this side, and then put the little butterfly. Trying to decide how I want to do it. I really don't want to cover that up. I like that. Or what if that is the top here? Just have to fiddle with it till you figure out what you like best. And it just takes me a little bit each time that I'm trying to decide how I want to do everything. And then I do like this little bit of color added over here. And maybe like this. I do like all that. And now I can't just, I'm just trying to decide for this girl. Maybe I put the lace here and then kind of put her on top of it. This little button. Let's see, where do I want to put the button? Thinking of adding it. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this pocket. I like the pocket crooked like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. I think I'm going to use my ATG for this. So just use some double sided tape for it. I'm just going to add it to three sides so that I can make this a little pocket. And I'm just going to put it in here crooked like this. And then this little, look how she would look on that. Just thinking there, I think I like this better like this. And where did I leave the tag? I'm thinking, put the tag 
can do it like that. And that fits down in there perfect. I think I want this kind of, kind of like that. So let's just set that with some. Actually, let's set up this first. Let's see if we layer a bunch on top of this little guy. Or what if? Let me see here. Get the tape off of it. Don't think this was intended as part of it, but I'm still going to use it. Let's see how that looks. Just not sure yet. So for this side, I do like how I had it laid out. So I'm going to go ahead and take this doily. And I'm going to just add a little bit of tape to the back of it. And just add it here. How did I have that? Is it like this? I've got to make sure. Yeah, that'll work. And then I'm just going to add this page. And I'm not gluing it all down smooth because I, I do want it to be kind of, I want it to be attached but not flat. I just, I kind of want it all to be kind of loose because that way I can still tuck things in it if I want to. If I decide later that I want to tuck something, you know, like in this page, if I want to tuck something in here, I could. Then I'm going to lay this little piece of lace here, and I think she's going to go like that. So, yes, yeah, so let's just, um, I'm not sure the best way I'm going to put this lace down. Let me see. I may have to get some hot glue out or some other glue. We'll see how it works. If it comes loose, I can add more. So, let's just do it like this. And then attach her there. Sure, the little button I do like it on here. I'm not sure if I should put it there or somewhere up in here. Let's just leave that there for a second and let's decide about this page now. I'm going to attach that there like that. Then, how do I want the tag on there? Maybe like this, yes. And I'm gonna have to pause the video. One of my girls is crying, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm sorry for the interruption. My youngest little girl, my little schnauzer, she was crying and I had to go oh, check and make sure everything was okay. She had, um, she was in her kennel where she had got, went out to walk and she had gotten really wet, so they put her in there to dry off and well, she was not happy, but I was afraid that she had gotten into, got hung up somewhere or got into something she shouldn't have been into. So I wanted to check and make sure. These girls keep you on your toes all day long, keeping up with them. So I'm gonna add that there. I, I, that's beautiful little butterfly. And so now we have the little tag in there. And for um, let's see here. I think I'll add the little button there, but I'm going to have to get my hot glue, I believe. Let me see if the Tombow glue will hold it. If not, I'll get my hot glue and add it. And I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to have to do. But let's just stick it there and see. I don't have my hot glue heated up, so I'm going to have to do that in a few minutes. And then here's the note she sent. And I think what I'm going to do is, since it kind of goes with the orange there, I'm going to take the note she sent, and I'm just going to add it right there in the pocket. And I might have should have put the lace. I could put the lace over here. Let me fold it up and see. It may would work, or I could just stick it in the pocket too, like that. Okay. Get 
that in there. So I'll get my hot glue ready for that and I'll put that in there. And I think it turned out really cute. I really, really like this little um, swap that we did and I enjoyed being challenged to see what I could do with the pieces that I got. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy what you're seeing, please subscribe and like so I know that you are enjoying it and that, um, and it always helps out when you do subscribe and like. And if you subscribe and get, uh, click the bell, you'll get notifications every time I put a video up. And I'm trying to put up at least one video, if not two a week. And I've got several ideas coming up for the Christmas holidays. So hopefully I'll get to start Christmas crafting now. Well, I hope you have a great weekend or a great week whenever you are watching this. And bye.